Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to NWIRC. In today's video, we're going to be completing part two of two of this Traxxas Spartan boat. And the parts we're going to be using today is the Traxxas water lines here, which is part number 5759. I bought two of them just so I have enough. Also, we're going to be using these water inlets. These are going to go on the front of the boat because as you can see, we got the dual outlets here. So we're going to have the ESC shoot off on one side and the motor shooting off on the other. That's the route that we're going to go. Also, the tools you're going to be needing is a 3 16 drill bit, and this will be for your water lines. It fits the hole nice. It might, might need a little bit bigger size. I'm not sure yet. This is the first time me doing this. And this bit here is a 7 seconds, and that's going to drill the hole so we could thread these inlets here in the front part of the boat for the outlets. It's got the rubber O-rings there so we don't get water taken in on the inside of the boat. And I think it'll give it a nice look. I was going to go and install these water ferrules here. I was going to drill these out and tap them, but I don't have the right size tap nor the drill bit to make this happen because this would give it a really nice look coming, you know, running the hose through here instead of just stock out of there. So I'm going to go ahead and take my magic marker, just kind of eyeball right across to where there's plenty of room. You open your canopy to make sure that you have enough room here. So I went ahead and put a little dot there. I don't know if you guys can see that. So as you can see, I put the mark here, which is pretty much right center in line right across here. That'll leave us enough room if we want to go install these water ferrules here. There's plenty of room side by side. Also, when I went to go drill my pilot hole, I noticed that this mechanism here is in the way. So off camera, I'm gonna go ahead and disassemble the linkage here, move this over and see if I have room. If not, I might have to take this bar out. I'll figure it out, but I will be right back. All right, so what I did is I went ahead and removed this piece here. It gives me room for my drill bit because my chuck was in the way here. And I also removed this shaft from the servo horn from the inside of the boat. So three screws total, not a big deal. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill my pilot hole and the reason why you want to use a pilot hole is because when you go to a bigger bit, you do not want to have your drill bit walking. So the pilot hole helps guide the bigger bit so it doesn't walk. So we got our 3 16 drill bit installed. Let's go ahead and get that drilled. That's my clutch. All right, before we go install the water lines, we're gonna go ahead and install these fittings here. And just so you know that this here is a 10 millimeter nut. You're gonna need you a tape measure. And here's the factory hole where the water line came out. So the best way I figured to measure this is just to come off the back end here. And you're gonna measure. And we are coming up at 16 and five eighths of an inch. So we're 16 five eighths of an inch to the center of this hole. And then I would come up from the bottom and we are exactly an inch and an eighth. So on the other side, I'm gonna match the numbers and I'm gonna mark an X 16 and five eighths of an inch and one and an eighth inch. And I'm gonna put it across there and that'll be my center point. Don't go by these graphics. I don't think they're the same on the other side. I spent about 10 minutes trying to figure out, you know, I could just put them right, you know, just below the line here, you know, from the red to the, or the pinkish red to the black. And it's not the same. So don't go by that, because you will be off. So I just did some measurements, inch and an eighth, 16, 16 and five eighths of an inch. I'm gonna mash it on the other side. We're gonna mark the hole. But for right now, we're gonna go ahead and get this one set. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a little hole here. All right, now let's see if it fits through. All right, doesn't fit perfect. Let's see if we can thread it in. Nope. So I'm gonna use the same drill bit because you don't wanna go too big you don't want to go past that o-ring right there and if you go past that o-ring you're going to have water getting in so i'm just going to kind of hollow it out a little bit Let's see if we get that to 
fit in. Now we should be able to thread it in. All right, look at that. Perfect. And that's even better because now you can tighten it on there. And plus, you got the nut going on the back side. The other side of the boat, we have to make a hole. And I already marked the hole centered 16 and 5 eighths of an inch. And then from the bottom up, we went an inch and an eighth. So that will line up center for the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and get that hole drilled. And I just used a pencil to come across and I marked the 16 and 5 eighths. And then I came up from the bottom and I did did a uh, cross here and then I took a magic marker and put a little dot in my center point so now let's take our pilot bit okay now we're going to take our other bit let's do a little wall right there Go ahead and install our other water inlet. All right, now we are in. Give you guys a little close up. You guys can see that very well. Okay, we are on the inside and you can see where our water inlets came in. This is where we're gonna take our 10 millimeter nuts that came with these outlets and we're gonna go ahead and thread them on. I'm going to go ahead and get the other side done. And now we're going to take our 10 millimeter socket. I don't think I'm going to need the ratchet because you don't need to super tighten these. You just want to get them snug. Let's see if I can just do it by hand. Yeah, you can do that by hand. Don't over tighten them. You don't want to squish the o-ring too much. Now stay tuned. I'll get you guys a close up on how we're going to install the water lines through the ESC and then through the motor and how all this is gonna work. All right, so now that the hard part is done, we're gonna go ahead and install this water line first. I'm just gonna get it fed in here. Okay, now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is install this piece here, right back on here. All right, we got all the linkages hooked back up. We got the bracket back on. So I'm gonna pull this hose out. I'm just gonna run this to the back side here. We came up and into the boat and we're going to take this right to the ESC which will be this port right there we're just going to measure it and cut it and install that and I'll be right back all right as you can see we have our first water line installed and now to go out we're going to come out of the ESC and we're going to take it out to the right side it's easier for me to start it here and then cut here as you can see we have that installed now let's take it and route it over to the ESC kind of get a good idea where we want it if you have to cut your lines a little bit longer you can always trim but you can never add to your line so plug this in and I'll give you guys a close-up here in a second all right so there you have it I have the outlet from the ESC running out to the right side of the boat and as you can see here I ran it through one of the motor wires I might put a little zip tie here because I don't want them sitting on top of this water jacket not that it's going to get hot or really worry about it but vibrations I just want to keep it away from that so right now our ESC is completed now let's go ahead and run for the motor cooling but I do have a whole other packet that's why I ordered two of these but this here, I can run to the output of the motor, the water jacket here to the outside to the left. That's plenty of room there. So let's go ahead and get this opened up. Now we're gonna run this line through our new hole. Let's get it, grab it, pull. Nice tight fit, nice and snug. Here, Harley, come on, girl. Thank you. So we're gonna run this hose to the bottom side here. Just like that. And as you can see, I'm gonna cut 
and fit it to the front part of the, or the rear part of this motor jacket. So now we're gonna run the water line from the front of the motor jacket to the water outport on the left side. Let's go ahead and get that done. Again, we're gonna start by installing it on the inside first, and now hook it up to here. And there you have it. All right, so all of our mods are completed. I cannot wait to see this thing go. We got our water inlets in. We have all our hot racing upgrades in the back here finished. We got a new servo. We got motor bearings coming. We got stainless steel prop coming for it. All right, everybody, stay tuned. When the weather gets nicer, right now we have a winter blast coming through. We cannot take these out in the water yet. He did buy him a pro boat. It's a monster. This thing, these are nice. So we're going to have them both out in the water, cruising around, testing out these upgrades. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big fat like. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. Ring that notification bell. Share this video out to your friends. And most importantly, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And have a great day.